Around this time of year, the question will come in, Zach, my potato plant is producing tomatoes. What is happening? This particular potato plant is grown in a mineral tub and it's ready to be harvested. The potatoes are pretty much done growing, but yes, they will produce flowers. The potato plant will produce flowers and then they will produce these fruits from those. And inside of these fruits, you can find seed to grow your potatoes. However, that's going the long way around the barn. What most people will do is they will just go ahead, harvest their potatoes, like there's one there, and then take that potato and then replant it at the appropriate time and then water it and it will grow the plants that will then make more potatoes. But yes, these are not tomatoes that your potato plant is producing. These are the actual fruit that the plant produces from which, yes, you can grow potatoes from seed. Well, I'm starting this video out here on the roof today. My son is over there working on the garden, tidying things up. But I thought I'd do a video on our upgrade that we did, getting close to about a year now, on the major upgrade we did for our home. Installing a bunch of new solar panels, also upgrading to the Sun Gold Power all-in-one inverter. That has been a complete and total game changer. A lot of people have asked me over the last number of months because they saw the video where we installed that and had that installed and, and, and got that unit, you know, and I, it is absolutely a recommendation of mine to get something like the all-in-one Sun Gold Power. And we'll go over more of those details here in a little bit. But we got 12 panels and this summer has been absolutely fantastic. It's like I have electricity now. I just, before I always really tried to watch my power consumption and, and, um, and make sure that we didn't overuse it and abuse the batteries because a friend of mine told me years ago, a long time ago, he said, Zach, most batteries don't die, they're murdered. And that is true because when you overuse a battery, you can severely length or shorten its lifespan. And now we've upgraded to the, the lithium iron phosphate and we've got new solar panels. And again, obviously the Sun Gold Power all-in-one inverter has been just fantastic. Let me take you down and I'll show you a closer look at that unit. Okay, it's a little bit loud in this room where I have this unit running. But I want to show you our batteries. We have eight lithium iron phosphate batteries running with a BMS system that I can check and use on my phone and see the, the status of the batteries. Uh, the Sun Gold power unit is hooked into here. So basically I have the solar panels that run into here. There's the entry of the solar panels. And then I have the AC in out going to the house. The end is basically for a generator that comes in. If I want to run a generator, I haven't had to use it. I've got a really nice generator, but because of the upgrade of the system, I've never really had to use it very much. And then uh, this is the battery connections here. The batteries are connected here. And so let me just give you a closer look at this display. As of right now, it says our panels, which is PV1, is bringing in 1.8 kilowatts of energy. And that is right now about 14 amps. And then in volts, 123 volts. Now it can bring in a lot, sometimes you'll see more than that coming in, but our batteries, as you can see, are at full charge. So it doesn't really need to create a lot of electricity. If I scroll through here, I can get to what the batteries are actually looking at right now. The batteries are sitting at 54.2 volts. This is a 48 volt system. And the batteries are sitting at full charge with the energy coming in at 54.2. Okay, if I scroll through, um, the output is 161 watts right now, so we're hardly using any energy. And the load is very minimal. But it's a very easy system to navigate, go through, and the instruction manual is absolutely handy and very clear cut to give you the answers that you might be looking for if you have questions. Now, if you haven't noticed, one of the downsides of a system like this is it's a little bit noisy. <laughs> it definitely has some fans running in it right now because we don't have air conditioning. It's in a covered area. It has plenty of airflow in this room, uh, but the fans are running and it does get a little bit loud. So that's probably the only downside that I can see for a system like this in your home. So having it in a back room, right now this is kind of our storage area room that we have attached to the house. And, uh, but it does get a little noisy. Okay, back in my studio where it's a little bit more quiet, I wanna go over the instruction book. I I've said this before on my channel as well, where if 
a product is created and they provide a good instruction book that is easy to read, easy to understand, easy to implement the things that are inside of it, that to me is worth a lot of value, okay? I don't like reading instruction books and not having any idea what the heck they're talking about. Um, and so they've done a really good job. They have a great troubleshooting guide in there. They have all kinds of scenarios and setups and information here that you're going to need to be able to put this thing in and put it. I mean, listen, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to implement, install one of these things and to get it working. Okay. These are basically plug and play. You know, the, the where you're going to mount it, you know, take some forethought and here, here and there, you know, to try to figure that out. But for the most part, this these are plug and play systems, and it's a, there's a reason why so many people listen. People find this intimidating. I know it's hard to detach yourself from the system that is today because the system works so hard to keep you attached to it. Detaching from it is so sometimes incomprehensible to you. They make it look so complicated. It's not. You know, being your own power company is understanding positive negative ground that's it i mean really it's that simple now there's details and there's you know intricacies in that but these things can be easily achieved and understood uh the instruction book um again ours is a 48 volt system depending on what your setup is you may have things wired differently you may have your solar panels wired differently you there's different ways to do that but again keep it simple when in doubt zoom out it's positive negative ground <laughs> it really is that simple. Um, years ago, I started diving in to becoming my own power company, and I did everything myself. Now, on this system, I had a friend of mine, Roy. He came over, and he helped install this stuff, and he, you know, he basically did all the work, and I just watched him. Now, I've done it all before, but this is a lot bigger system, and I understand how it works because I understand the fundamentals. Starting off small, starting off with a few solar panels, and here are some of my diagrams that I've shown in the past of systems that I have set up for various reasons, either for aquaponics or for the home or for an outdoor kitchen. We have these diagrams set aside. I installed, I wired all this myself. So I have a really good basic understanding, the fundamental understanding of all these things. So that if something go does go wrong on this system, I understand how things work. Start off small, and I recommend to people too, to even go get a cheap solar setup from like Harbor Freight to start off with. You know, you don't jump into something like this. You can, you can absolutely do that. I highly recommend the, the Sun Gold Power in, all in one inverter because before, when I did it all myself, I had an inverter. I had a charge controller, I had a combiner box, I had all these things, I had a, ch a charger, I had all, a three-stage charger, I had all these things that I had to wire up together, but Sun Gold Power makes it simple because it's all in one. And so it takes a lot of the guesswork out of things. I still understand how all of these fundamentally work though. So a lot of people can get overwhelmed, like Zach, I could never get that. I don't have the money to get to that. Okay, fine, just start off small. But start, start off small, but start. You've got to detach from the system. At some point, all of this may go away. And I know there's endless things you could prepare for, EMP, you know, CME. It could all go away tomorrow. But if it doesn't, I feel really good about the fact that I haven't paid a power bill. <laughs> I haven't paid an electric bill in now in over 10 years. That makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> so. Um, again, the Sun Gold Power All-in-One Inverter, I really do like this thing. If you do a little bit of research, you can understand these things. It's not unachievable by the normal, regular, everyday, average Joe. You can do this. I want to encourage you to do this. Again, start off small if you want to and then work your way up. A lot of us don't have the finances, including myself, to jump into a system like this, and I didn't. You know, I started off with the two solar panels. And a couple of batteries, you know, about eight batteries from the first batteries we ever bought was from Sam's Club. <laughs> the, the, the deep cycle lead acid batteries from Sam's Club, you know, and we worked up from that. We bought little components here and there. and We upgraded those components as we went along. And then we upgraded the batteries and we upgraded the solar panels all during this time frame. And now we're at a point where I've got a dozen solar panels and I've got uh, these lithium I mean, first class lithium iron batteries that Roy put together basically from scratch. I mean, he went himself down into the mines of Africa and dug out the cobalt. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
No, but he really put he did build those batteries from scratch, you know. Um, but he, you know, it, it's it's a progression. You learn as you go. You just you learn as you go. That's all it is. Wisdom comes from experience. Okay. If you have questions about this system, if you have questions on maybe, you know, ways I can help you get started, leave them in the comments below. Maybe even Roy will jump in on the comments. He's known from time to time to jump in on the comments too. Um, you know, there's a lot of knowledge out there. You just have to go out and get it. You have to take the incentive, the initiative to go out there and find the information that you need to get started. But get started. Don't wait. You know, declare your independence and get started. All right. Um, if you have, again, you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out our um, website at AmericanHomestead.com. There's a lot of information on there about our solar stuff. You can just do get into the search thing and hit solar. Also, on the front page of our website, there is an email subscribe list that you can join. Uh, we're getting trying. I'm trying to get back into the whole, you know, sending emails every so often out with with updates on things that we're doing. Also, giveaways, stuff like that. So be sure to go to our email, our website front page and get to that email, subscribe and get on, get in on that. So you're updated with any cool, neat things that we're doing. Also speaking of events that are coming up as well. So, all right, guys, Hey, stupid should hurt. If there was hurt, more hurt in this world, there'd be an awful lot less stupid. I'll be going to some speaking events this summer. I hope to see you there. I'll have some of these shirts available. All you could also just go down to the bottom of the link in the description there and buy them from teespring.com if you want to. If you want to get it from me personally, you can attend one of the speaking events that I'll be at this summer. All right, guys. See you next time in the homestead. Bye. It's 2023, and the banks are continuing to struggle and fail. The bottom line on why our country is in so much financial trouble is that we have for years not lived within our means. Government spending in Congress is out of control, and government printing of U.S. dollars has reached no limits. For only the second time in history, we have more debt than our GDP. That means we owe more money than our country is actually worth. See, it used to be said that the US dollar was backed by the gross domestic product. But when the debt exceeds that amount, it's no wonder why so many countries are now refusing to trade in that ever increasingly worthless currency. That's why you need to safeguard your wealth. You've worked and saved your entire life and now it's all at risk. Genesis Gold Group is a faith-based business that will help you move your assets into physical gold and silver. Precious metals have stood the test of time during economic failures all throughout history. Call Genesis Gold Group today and let them develop a strategy for your savings, 401k, or self-directed IRA. A strategy of physical gold and silver. You can call the number on the screen or visit them at genesisgoldgroup.com and be sure to say you heard about them from an American homestead. Hey guys, did you know you can become a patron of an American homestead? They get access to private videos and we send them gifts from the homestead that we make here on the homestead. And we also enter our patrons into special giveaways that are only available to them. And before you go, please check out these other great videos. Go ahead, click. Oh wait. <laughs>